it was as flat as a fart. Morning you guys, it's Thursday, the sun is shining, I'm feeling great, I hope you guys are feeling great, I've done a call already in Litchfield, but more importantly, it's Masters Thursday, the first major of the year. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little bit excited about this, and I want to explain why. The Masters is the first big major tournament of the year. It's brilliant, I love it, um, plus it's the only one that still has coverage available on the BBC, but that is due to finish this year, which is a shame, um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to watching the Masters this year, uh, for the final time on the BBC, you know, you can't beat Ken on the course, Peter Alice is just a legend, so... Really looking forward to it. Um, my picks for this year, though, are going to be... My first pick is McElroy. You, you just can't bet against him, really. Um, as long as he put a turns up and he doesn't snap hook one off the 10th, I think he's a, he, he could be a good, good little punt. Um, He's shown half decent form going into the season before he got injured, so I'd expect him to, to place fairly strongly this week at the only major he's missing at the moment. Now my next pick might surprise a few people, because I'm going to go for Garcia. I love Garcia, I think he, he's a great golfer and he deserves a major, a bit like Westwood deserves a major, just purely for how well he's played in him. Garcia is just... A great golfer he's in fantastic form he's already won once this season he's in a good place personally within his relationship with his fiance so i'd love to see him cross the line and, uh, and win a major this year now obviously i'd like to add dustin johnson into the mix and he is one of my picks but at the time of recording this it's come out in the news that he's actually taken quite a serious fall and they're not even sure if he's going to tee it up uh, today so yeah he's a pick but he might not be a pick if that makes sense and finally I'm gonna go for Danny Willett to retain I like Danny Willett I watched a program about him last weekend on BBC 2 about when Danny won the Masters and I just think it would be great for him great for golf great for UK golf and great for his caddy, because his caddy seems pretty awesome. If he actually retained the Masters, so won it back-to-back, -back, I think that would be a great thing. So, yeah, I'm going to be having a little flutter on him this weekend. So, they're my picks for who I think is going to do well at the Masters this year. Do you guys agree? Comment below. Or, if you've got different opinions... Get in touch, let me know who you think is going to win the Masters. I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, it was a bit of an odd day really. Plus, I thought I'd put my camera on charge. And when I turned it on yesterday morning, it was as flat as a fart. And my phone's full of crap. So yeah, sorry I didn't vlog yesterday. Uh, normal services... Uh, resuming today uh, I've actually finished work now um, I recorded the stuff for the masters this morning while I was eating breakfast and doing a few of bits and bobs so I've done four calls again today first call was in Litchfield uh, paper jams tray roller was broken fit the new tray roller customers happy second call power supply at Asda just went and fit the new power supply uh, third call was at uh, RAF Shawbury, uh, was photocopying blue, uh, so a corrupt uh, power control board, so I had to replace that. And uh, the fourth call was at a care home in Shrewsbury, which just required some feed rollers. So I'm just kind of having 20 minutes to grab a drink and 
look through my feed for the masters to see who who's doing well early on and then i'm going to pick charlotte up just heading out now to pick up charlotte it's uh another glorious day not sure if you can make back out look just a few clouds glorious sunshine forecast a really nice weekend as well so for the first time since probably September I'm actually looking forward and I mean really looking forward to playing golf I'm not sure if that's got something to do with the fact of it being the Masters again Masters weekend oh, I just hope the BBC coverage is good over the weekend otherwise I'm going to be really frustrated what to do with myself i'm at home the masters is on but i ain't got sky but i have found something i want to show you i say found it's been knocking around my house for a few weeks it's uh, a golf club it's one of my dad's old golf clubs not sure if you can make that out but that definitely says one iron and it's from the company that something to do with the masters I'm not sure if that's coming out can you see it this club started my obsession with long irons and is the reason why I now carry the Titleist TMB 3 iron I've got this out because I've been using it in the back garden to to practice my swing um, as I've been unable to get to the range again this week um, I just thought I'd show you guys really as it's the Masters and it's a uh, Masters Golf Club um, I'm not entirely sure as to the value of it. it it's one of my dad's old ones but I quite like the look of it I seem to have stumbled across a bit of a problem My laptop bag is nowhere to be seen. Nothing. I'm hoping it's in the car. If not, I've got a bit of a problem. So let's go find out. There it is. You. I thought I'd left that somewhere then. Now I can start editing. I'm off to try and find my daughter because it's time for her to come in. So let's go see where she's got to. I found Charlotte. I will be telling her after spitting on the floor. That's going to just about do it for today. Because there's grass in my mouth. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you tomorrow.